<laughs> she just keeps falling down the hill. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Here, let's take our hunting rifle out and see if we can snipe her. There we go. Say good night, Gracie. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Dead is Dead series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We have a horde every night, and I have one life to live, and I am still alive. All right, I thought I'd bring you back right now uh, for the very start of Horde Night, just so we kind of see how things go down here. And uh, if it's a relatively uneventful night, then uh, after the first, I don't know, five minutes or so, I'll go ahead and get back to work. And uh, bring you guys back in the morning, but let's just kind of see what happens first. I think I have the building uh, secured up here, as far as <laughs> I hope so. As far as I know, I have. Um, you know, it just occurred to me though. There's a actually a ladder back here, isn't there? Oh my God, yes, there is. Okay, so we need to get that blocked off, and we need to stay away from it too. It just occurred to me that there a, was a ladder back there that I never took down. But if we keep them away from that corner, it should theoretically, anyway, keep them from getting up there. Alright. So, if we pull them in here, you know, we've got all those... Uh, those uh, gas cans down there and maybe they'll hit them and blow themselves up for us oblige us I don't know if we want to be standing under it when that happens though huh uh, let's see I I found a, a safe a little a little small safe behind the counter in there that I had missed when I was on camera so I opened it and I got two orange shotguns and an orange uh, hunting rifle and some more ammo so that was cool and also found some uh, Grandpa's moonshine recipe in one of the bathrooms. I think those are the most significant things that we found. Okay, that's wood. What I want to do is put these down so we can kind of see what's going on look down there oh boy I don't know though those gas cans are right there oh, you know what we could shoot those things <laughs> we could shoot those huh let's make sure we're standing back far enough <laughs> burn baby burn all right we must have taken a few of them out with that anyway Oh, yeah. Yeah, we killed like four or five of them, I think, doing that. That was awesome. Now, there was another one back over that way, too, I thought, but I can't quite see it from up here. Okay, let's pull those back up for a second. Yeah, it's on the other side of that lift there, so I wrenched the cars, too, so we got those out of the way. I guess... Uh, yeah, that's probably not an actual explosive block there. Okay, let's put these back down. I don't really have enough ammo yet to, you know, start kill killing the horde on Horde Night. Well, we'll get there eventually, but we're not quite there yet, so... All right, well, um, they're just going to mill around down there and tear the shit out of stuff. So I think what I'll do, guys, is uh, I'll cut the camera here and just kind of keep working over there. And I'll bring you guys back in the morning, and then we'll go from there, okay? And, of course, if something crazy does happen, 
in the meanwhile um, I'll keep the recorder running so we can catch that on camera okay so I'll see you guys in the morning all right guys just turned morning and we're still alive and well the horde pretty much just tore the crap out of the place down below um, and I got the rest of this uh, central antenna thingamadoodle uh, torn down and just kind of periodically wandered around to kind of pull the horde around so they weren't all in one place all of the time uh, but they did a, quite a bit of a number uh, down there because I did spend quite a bit of time near our stuff uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop down on the bike and ride away whoops and let them despawn and then we can come back and do the next thing we're gonna do today so uh, looks like we have a retrieve the supplies quest. Where's that at, by the way? Well, here, let's get a little further down the road first. I, I'm, I'm thinking that one might be in the desert. If it is, I'm tempted to cancel it. But we'll see. All right, that should be far enough out. Oh, are those potatoes? I think those were potatoes right there. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Because if, if we can get a hold of... I already got some corn, so if we can get a hold of some potatoes, we can actually make some sham chowder. So yeah, these guys should be gone by now. I would expect... wood wood from our own frames so yeah that uh, that vending machine doesn't work but the one in the back does all right let's see what they did so they tore a lot of this up in here they really did a number on those supports uh, we should probably try... Oh, here's another secret I missed. We should probably try and re get some semen and repair those. If we can. So this is the area right above us. Is is our, our little area because uh, I can hear the forges. So it might be a good idea... What is this? Oh shit, that's 2,500 concrete. I was going to say, it might be a good idea to maybe bust the floor out in here and make this a little deeper just so they can't be tapping up on the ceiling there. That is 2,500 though. Okay. More stuff back here we never looted. Nice, four more lockpicks. Always a good thing. What's in here? Sweet. Six pieces of meat. Oh, I guess that ladder is broken. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's actually very good. That sounds like a metal... A metal barrel. But it's actually plastic. Nothing in there. I'll get, eventually get all these cars wrenched, but let's loot them right now. Be sure nice to find an auger. <clears throat> Game, I said it would be sure nice to find an auger. <laughs> it's not listening to me. It is not listening to me. Let's see what's in here. Lockpick. Good, good. More oil.
never really had a chance to go around this whole place and loot everything. Because those damn dogs showed up early on. That's two mushroom spores for us. Let's see what this car has. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. I'll take it. You can't loot those closed garbage cans. Not sure why, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, we're getting full up. I was actually going to make another forge. I am going to make another forge. Uh, so we have two of those going, and we sh we can make a workbench. So we should get one of those going too. More sewing kits, always a good thing. And another wrench. We can use that wrench to make our our workbench. Okay. We're really full now. Excuse me. I'm tired. Blah. And I want to figure out too, you know, how I'm gonna how we're gonna get up in onto the base. Uh, we'll probably devise some kind of a ramp setup just like we did uh, in the last season. So I'd kind of like to repair these blocks. Are these blocks wood or are they concrete? They are wood. Okay. We'll probably upgrade these central blocks here to something much more stout than wood. In fact, you know what? There's Now that I think about it, there's a whole bunch of um, cobble in the garage area that we could use to... Uh, Oh, that, that's concrete there. Okay, good. Uh, that we could use to fix that up. But I am out of inventory space. We're going to want to protect this thing too. And probably make a, like we did before, make a little way to come down and get to it. So we can buy stuff, uh, stuff out of it. Fortunately, too, the vending machines are pretty tough, and they electrocute the Zeeks when they, when they try to take them out. Yeah, we didn't have to worry about this ladder situation at all. Okay, well, let's uh, nerd pull back up. I guess we can just do that from back here. It doesn't really matter where we do it. And I started lining up all the crates down there, as you can see. But here's what we're going to do. Let's just put all this extra crap in here, except for I do... Uh, before we go out and about, I want to uh, get another forge going. That can be scrapped. Looks like we ran out of wood here. And uh, maybe get a workbench going, too. So let's focus on uh, the forge first. And I needed more duct tape. That shovel's an awesome find. Very nice find. We'll put that in there. Whoops. That can go in there. That can go in there. Okay, we need to keep that stuff for the forge. All right, I should have more duct tape over in this other bin that I need to uh, unload and get organized, but I'll do that off camera. So let's see. Yeah, we've got lots of duct tape, actually. Quite a bit. Quite a bit, in fact. All right, so what are we missing? Stone. Oh, 
Do I have clay in here? No, I don't. Okay. I must have put that the clay back in the chest over here. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then for a workbench, we need forged iron. I left some of that back over here, so let's go grab it again. Or go over here again, I should say. So we got 50 forged iron. All right, so we got a forged iron. We need 20 mechanical parts. I've got a bunch in the other chest, but let's see if there's any in here. Uh, don't see any. A wrench, a claw hammer. Oh, do we have another claw hammer? Um, we don't, but can we make a hammer? I think we can make a, whoops. Yes, we can make a hammer. Okay, let's, um, yeah, we'll make a, a, an orange hammer and then we'll use this hammer for, uh, the workbench. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for that, let's go on back over here. Um, I want all my empty jars, which I guess is only seven. Here, let's uh, eat. And let's drink this. We probably have more empties over here too now that I think about it oh yeah lots of empties lots of empties and lots of murkies I think we'll save these murkies for uh, for glue anything else in here we need right away I don't think so did we learn first aid bandages we did not okay that sucks All right, let's make some coffee. Uh, here, that's got to go there, and that's got to go there. Okay. And then we're just going to cook up the rest of this water. Oh, you know what? We've got to make... Um, that's right, we've got to use the snowballs to make murky water. All right, so let's grab these. Get the caps lock key off. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we just need to wait for this, and then we can uh, make our workbench. Once the workbench is done, then we'll then we'll go out and about. Let's get rid of this thing. There we go. All right, two forges. <clears throat> Let's grab the rest of this clay and get some iron and clay going in here. And what are you doing? You're working on iron too. So let's get some lead and glass going in you. And I just want to grab. Oh, actually no. Right? We're gonna do we're gonna do the workbench next. So, what are we still missing? Looks like we're missing 20 mechanical parts. All right. That's going. All right, so let's wait for that to finish, and then, once, like I said, once it's done, uh, we'll, go, we'll go do a quest or something. So I'm going to grab everything else out of here that I want to smelt down in the forge. Right, guys i think we're ready to take off um i just got the forges working on smelting stuff just the stuff that i didn't need to hang on to uh you are making murky water 
So I think it's probably might be a little bit too late for us to go all the way down here and do this uh, clear quest. Plus, I'd like to have a little bit more ammo going on before we start doing that too. So let's go ahead and do this buried treasure, uh, which is just off this way, and start you know working on the quest for this guy because this guy's going to be our main trader, and. I want to, you know, get into tier two as quickly as possible. So we want to work him the most. So let's go ahead, head out and do that. And then I'll come back here tonight and, you know, keep working on, uh, on the horde, uh, not the horde, the base. I don't know if I want to jump down quite that far. That could, uh, give us a broken leg. I got to get those shopping carts out of there. So let's go check out this buried treasure. Do we already loot this? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Darn it. I forgot to set my workbench down. That's right. We'll we'll do that later. Do I have anything in here? I don't. Okay. We'll set that down when we get back. Wow. Of all the places this thing could have been. <laughs> it's right inside this cliff. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, I can tell it's close because you can see it's moving. Oh, shit. You know, the other thing too is it's probably actually up there now that I think about it. Well, that isn't going to work. There's no way in hell that's going to work. That is one hell of a big cliff, too. My word. You can do a cliff base. That'd be kind of fun, huh? This is all, like, just sandstone, though, so it's super... Super uh, weak. That would be kind of fun to do a cliff base, though. What is, um... That doesn't even look right. Like, it's not... Like it's not formed correctly. Okay, well. I'm not even sure how we could get up there if we wanted to. I mean, we can make a super, super, duper, duper, duper long nerd pole, I guess. Let's, let's go. Let's travel over this way and just see what's what, because... Oh. Where are you, man? Oh, there you are. Change of plans. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, oh, damn it. Okay, I want to see if I can see where that, where the drop is so we can get to it. There it is. That's not far away at all. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, yeah, let's go, let's get the drop and then let's see what the possibility is of us getting up on that cliff. We might be able to get up there. And like I said, I mean, worst case scenario, we really could make the world's tallest nerd pole if we had to. Getting away from the zombies up there is going to be interesting, depending upon how wide that plateau actually is. We're going to have to fight Baldy. Is he coming? Nope. Alright, what do we got? Pretty nice stuff. Pretty damn nice stuff. All right, cool. Uh, this we should probably just end up scrapping. I got another one too, back at the base. 
Uh, yeah, that's not bad at all. In fact, we, we actually really can use the medicals because we don't have any. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, um, let's ride around this little plateau thingamadoodle and see how wide it is at the top and if it's, you know, potentially something we could get up on top of. I mean, nerd pulling probably really is the best way to do it, unless there's a, a land route up there. It kind of looked like on that end, there might be something to that effect, but let's go ahead and drive around it and just see what's what. It doesn't look very wide to me, but we'll see. Yeah, see, it's it's pretty, it's pretty narrow. You know, that makes me wonder. Well, it's probably not so narrow that the that the treasure's on the other side of it. Oh yeah, no, I mean it is right at the tip of the the cliff there. We we could probably get up here. How's our inventory space looking? Um, so we got four four slots before we're encumbered. Well, that is <laughs> that is a long ways up there, though. My goodness. Okay. Well, let's start climbing. We got this. We got this. Let's chug one of these. A little stamina back. I'm gonna keep the glot the jar. We got stripper zombie, we're gonna have to kill her. <laughs> she just keeps falling down the hill. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Here, let's take our hunting rifle out and see if we can snipe her. There we go. Say goodnight, Gracie. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is all janked out up here, man. Check this out. Yeah, a little bit of random generation funkiness going on here. All right, hold on. So it's going to be on this other riblet thingamadoodle. Right down here. Oh boy. See, the thing is, is <clears throat> even if we get this treasure, you know, all them zombies are going to spawn in on us. It's right on the damn corner, too. Wait, what? Oh no, you know what? It's on the slope. It's kind of, okay, yeah, this is not, we can't get this. <laughs> no way, man. No freaking way. All right, well, let's go back up this way. We're going to just have to cancel that quest. Um, that's too bad, but it is what it is. We'll just have to be careful about taking quests that come over this direction. I'm going to cancel that one, too, because I'd rather not go into the desert. You know, the thing is, those both of our traders are near the desert, so they're probably going to send us in the desert anyway. Uh, but I've got plenty of leather back at the base to make a poncho. In fact... We might have already actually made a poncho, I can't remember. And if you guys uh, noticed in the time lapse that I did, you know, coming out here, I actually found a book that lets me make cool weather clothing, which is pretty neat. So we can make ourselves a set of desert garb.
It's kind of neat up here, though. It was an easy. Where'd you go, easy? Holy smokes, that's a long way down, isn't it? Okay, well, I think with this, we should probably cut down through this little ravine and then come back around that way. Uh, but we're also out of time, too. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do for the rest of this day, guys, is I'm I think I'm just going to go back to... We'll stop off at the trader. I think I'm just going to go right on back to the um, house and just keep working and work through the rest of this day and then you know, into the horde night again and just try and get set up a little bit more and then when I bring you back in the morning at that point then we'll go you know, do the next quest that we'll get from this guy. So unless something crazy happens between now and then I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, in the episode so thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode bye, -bye.